Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is All Out The One here. Welcome to another video. Today I just want to do a little talk about a issue that is uh, current in the UK at the moment and that's the issue of ash dieback, also known as ash tree disease and um, also known as cholera dieback. So I'm talking to bushcrafters and those of you that spend a lot of time in British woodlands um, it's just an issue that uh, maybe you should be aware of <clears throat> as you know you could help preserve your environment wherever you may be. Um, basically this disease is caused by a fungus called Calera fraxinea or fraxinea. Once a tree, an ash tree is infected you get immediate leaf loss uh, and then the crown of the tree starts dying back and eventually, generally, it leads to death. So obviously, our indigenous ash population is at serious risk at the moment. Now the initial way this got into the country, into the UK, was in February 2012, a consignment of infected trees from the Netherlands were shipped to a um, nursery in Buckinghamshire. And obviously, from there, the saplings were <clears throat> shipped out to all over the country. In October 2012, the Kellera dieback had reached, it was confirmed that it had reached East Anglia, Kent, Essex and other counties. Uh, now the way that us, the public, uh, can help is by helping to identify cases of Kellera dieback. And um, there's actually a very good video um, I'll put a link up here. This is to a video by the National Forestry Commission and that explains in detail how to identify the the disease. The video also gives detail of how the ash trees are affected and um, what happens uh, to an infected tree. Furthermore, in England and Wales, if you do detect uh, a case of, of the cholera dieback disease you can call um, the National Forestry Commission it's a special helpline that has been set up to deal specifically with this issue and the number is 08459 and uh, if you can't be bothered to go and see that video then here are a few pictures of the disease and uh, how it manifests itself within the uh, ash tree So I think you'll agree it's something we should all be aware of and on the lookout for as you can help save woodlands in the UK. So this is all out of one here. Thanks for watching. Take care.